the passenger has had a terrible uh, time over the last few years. Uh, obviously, COVID has impacted on that, but we definitely cannot go backwards to 2018, 2019. We can't accept something that is substandard, but we need to make sure that there is that connectivity, that reliability. And let's not forget that uh, going for B plus means that we will lose one of our um, services to Manchester Airport from, um, from our region. And York obviously relies on that as, a, as an area of, of great tourism for international tourists they need that link to Manchester Airport as well. But it is part of a, a greater picture that the meeting with the minister was cancelled when actually we're, we're, uh, we're up against it. We're at the, you know, five minutes to midnight. You've heard earlier how, how immediate our decision needs to be because of the, of the work that goes into uh, um, a timetable change and how we've been forced into this position and I do feel for Dan and, and support him wholeheartedly as a, a real champion for the people of South Yorkshire who want that connectivity to be able to go um, uh, on holidays and so on and, and, go and travel for work. I really get it. But there are other things as well around this um, that the unrealised commitments uh, for through service from Bradford and the Calder Valley to Manchester Piccadilly, Piccadilly and Manchester Airport as part of that infrastructure plan.